Hello everyone, this is Sensei Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout London. Well, last time we caught up with our new Vagabond friends, helped engage in a firefight. Well, my mother we... wanted me to be a farmer, but I'll get my hands dirty in other ways. We wound up taking out one that was running away, joined in the firefight at the end, and got sent to take out one of them that was going for a broadcast tower to call I for help. I if I were you. Careful where you tread, or you'll give me a reason to have fun. Anyway, looks like we got two guys guarding the perimeter. There's apparently two more doing the same elsewhere. So let's head on in and check in and see what fetch quest we're going to be sent off on next. And hey, incidentally, if there's maybe a doctor who could help me with the whole healing thing. Jam the screw. Where you going? You got them? It's sorted. You know, I'll stop them. Things should be safe now. Good. You seem efficient. I like that. Gaunt said to give you some tickets for your troubles. Here. Charisma 5. Surely my efficiency is worth a bit more than this. Not my problem, sweetie. Take it up with Gaunt if you like, but don't blame me if he just blows your head off. Does he always react so violently? To bullshit, yes. Gaunt just cares about getting the job done, and your feelings don't come into it. Right and proper. It's not just a loss of men. We're hurting for ammo and other supplies. They keep hitting us like this, and they'll whip for attrition. Fucking dogs. We should hit him back, right this minute. Easy now. Something stupid like that is exactly what they want to provoke. We've got to keep our heads. Sorry to interrupt, chaps. I brought that newcomer along. I've got no time for the detritus right now. Nelson, find something useful for this one to do. The rest of you, scrub! I need to go think. Never mind what Gaunt says, sweetie. He's a hard one, but he's been through a lot, and he bears a lot on his shoulders. He's got a big heart, really. What do you mean he's been through a lot? I've got to go now, but stick around, sweetie. We're good people when you get to know us. Oi, newcomer. I think I still hear you breathing over there. Come over here and we'll have a go. Okay, talk to Nelson. Why Nelson? said they fished you out some lab down the Pinder. If I still had eyes, I'd say you were pulling the wool over him. But Gaunt backed him up and he's not the fanciful type. Well, pleased to meet you, Wayfarer. My name's Blind Nelson. I'm Sebastian's right-hand man, and I was the same to his father back when he was the boss of the Vagabonds. I can't see no more, but I've been round the houses far longer than anyone else here, and my brain still ticks as good as ever. So you're a commuter? Well, check out the eyes on this one. Yeah, there's a bunch of us commuters about. Something to do with radiation and whatnot. I never much cared why. I lost my skin to it back when I was young, and I've stayed like this ever since. You get used to it. There are some what call us ghouls. Cheeky bastards. Okay, so... That's kind of cool. They came up with their own colloquialism for ghouls, and, uh... We keep the order around Bromley. Stop the hooligans, keep businesses protected, manage goods in and out, that sort of thing. We're popular with the locals, which is... More than you can say for most gangs around London. Times are hard, though. We're at war with the Isle of Dogs, and they've got more men and more guns than us. What do you need? Simple fact is, my radio's broke, and I'm lost without it. Sebastian keeps me around for what brains I have, but without my radio, I'm deprived of some very necessary intel. I need someone with a pair of eyes and a pair of legs to fix it. You fit the bill, right? Here's the broken radio. Go find Shill Winston, and ask him if he has any parts to fix it. Bullet Tooth Anthony is a workbench for when you've got the bits. Bring it back here when it's all working smoothly and you're done. Easy, right? Sure. I'll get started right on that. Because fixing a broken radio... Totally something I'm qualified to do with my eight intelligence. Not from these ends, are you? My name's Sid. Though the boys here call me Sabretooth. I'm looking for a little help with something. I can make it worth your while. 
Let me know and I'll see what I can do. Listen here. I'm only telling you this as you're an outsider. But I'm no good with my letters, see? My ma always wanted me to learn them. But my dad said it would make me weak in the head. Well, I'm getting old now. And I've had my share of adventures, but... My one big regret is never learning how to read proper. Maybe now, I can finally play catch-up. But I don't want the boys here knowing about this. That's why I'm looking for help from someone like you. I've got a little something special for you. If you can get me the goods I need. You in? That's a noble aim. I'd be glad to help. That's kind of you, kid. It ain't easy keeping this secret, but maybe there's hope to learn, even at my age. I know some basics. But if I can get the right materials, I'm sure I could get better. Thing is, there's bug rolls to read round here. Some old menus and magazines, but no proper books. And I need me some books if I want to learn proper reading. <laughs> you ever hear of a library? Used to be loads of them before the war, all full of books. They're mostly ruined now, but there's a few still about. There's one not far from here, in fact. Sounds simple. What do you want exactly? Simple enough. But mine for the ghouls about. Get me three or four books and decent nick, and I'll give you some at special in return. I'm sorry, I'm just chuckling because I'm a librarian in my day job. I play these games to escape from the cares of my work. And I'm being sent to go retrieve books for an illiterate so he can learn how to read. <sighs> the irony is wicked. Nothing too hard. Kid stuff, even. I need to start out simple. If you can find it, there's a little story called Dove's Dilemma I remember from when I was young. It'd be nice to see you again. We'll get you book smart in no time. Thanks. My mother wanted me to be a father. But I get my hands to touch me again. An optional find Dove's Dilemma. Grabbing the booze is stealing, so we're not going to do that. Hello, youngin. You get to nab some books for me? Not yet. Oh, well, sometime, I'm sure. Yeah, I was trying to talk to someone else, but... Hello, mate. Nice to see you again. What can I do you for? Let's see. Why, Nelson... Needs his radio thing. You said you have the parts? Oh, hey. Let's have a butcher's. Looks like he needs a new antenna. I'll have one in a box somewhere, I'm sure. But look, whilst I'm rooting around for that, I've got a job for you. Okay. One of my main suppliers is running late with a delivery, and she's never late. I'm worried something's gone wrong. But after the latest attack here, I can't leave my post to see. I want you to nip down to Nadia's on Deptford Ice Street to check in on things, and get me the package if it's ready. By the time you're back, I'll have the antenna for you. All right. If you hang around, we'll know it, though. We need the numbers. Boy, why that smiley look off your face before I have one of my friends do it for you? What, you think we don't know this place is a dump? What? No, that's just my face. Don't know why I think it's a charm. You should do something about that then. You look like a bulldog licking piss off a thistle. The name's John the Screw. I'm the one in charge of fixing up this pub that you so clearly think you're better than. Why do they call you John the Screw? Yeah, bit of a dodgy nickname for someone like me, innit? Sebastian and the boys almost skinned me alive when I first introduced myself. Thought I was a prison guard they did. Vagabonds in prison go together like tea and marmite. Hard to blame them, I guess. But when I explained that they call me the Screw, because I'm handy with tools, we well, was right as rain. Oh, you're clearly doing a great job. Sod off, I'm doing my best. I got enough stress dealing with those hooligans at Bromley DIY. I don't need you coming in here, spouting off with the cunty comments. Uh, you know what? That gives me a that was nice. idea. How would you like to make a few tickets for a quick job? I'm listening. Well... The reason the swan still looks like the town tip isn't because I've been sitting on my ass doing nothing. We're up to our eyes in repairs and running loan supplies, fast. 
Typically, I'd send one of the leads down to Bromley DIY to pick up what we need. But the last time I did, a junkie blindsided him with the business end of a sledge. Now nobody wants to go near the place. But you seem like an odd sort. If you were to go take care of the hooligans down at the DIY, so we could continue our work, I'd certainly make it worth your while. <sighs> I'm in, so where's this DIY shop? Brilliant, mate. You're doing me a huge favour. Bromley DIY is just up the road. You can't miss it. If you hang round, wouldn't hurt none. We need the numbers. Okay, there's Winston again, and Mickey. Who we cannot talk to, apparently. Okay, so there's Jan, yeah, there's Sabertooth, there's Blind. More bodies getting shite done never hurt anything. Oi, oi. If it ain't that lab rat, the fuck you want? Why do they call you Johnny Shrapnel? It's cause of this little beauty I've got lodged in me skull. A reward for some dodgy demolitions testing. But that's just how things go sometimes when you're a professional bomb maker. No pain, no pain. Eh? Your vet says I need to get it taken out before it kills me. But I say nah. Makes me sharper, this does. Sometimes you need a little reminder that if you don't put your life on the line, then maybe you're not really living. And I'm sure there ain't no lead in it. Mostly sure. Can you tell me more about the Vagabonds? The heroes of London we are. Protectors of the peace, defenders of the downtrodden, all that sort of thing. Well, that would be nice if it were true. Fact is, the dogs have been doing us dirty for a long time, and every week feels a little harder than the last. We'll pull through, though. We always have. Right? What do you think about Sebastian? What are you asking for? Not some syndicate spy, are you? You keep your nose to yourself. What's about the Isle of Dogs syndicate? Bunch of traitorous little shits is what they are. You can't trust them. We've been stuck in a bloody war with the syndicate ever since the Red Treaty. And at every stage they keep beating us back. They're led by a chap called Thomas Black. And he's got more smarts than a lot of us put together. No matter what we do, he's able to outmaneuver us. Most everyone here has lost someone to him. For some here, revenge is about all that keeps him going. Yeah, never mind. Right-o. My mother wanted me to be a farmer. I'll get my hands dirty in other ways. What can I get you? I just want to trade a few things. Here's our menu. We got Nuka Cherry pre-war money, two gentlemen of Verona. Take a look. Goodbye. Okay, so I got some of my junk unloaded. Hey, there's some books right here. Kids books, but still. More bodies getting shot done never hurt anything. I was gonna wonder where this workbench is. Oh, 
my mother wanted me to be a farmer. But I get my hands dirty in other ways. Hello, uh, sunshine. The name's Bullet Tooth Anthony. What you after? What's your role here? I fix up weapons, do repairs and maintenance. That sort of thing. Can you tell me more about the Vagabonds? We're the best brutes in Bromley. Won't find better than us. If we can get us some more weapons, we'll be a proper force to be reckoned with. Oh, that sounds like a request hook. I always say, the only good dog is a dead dog. Those syndicate buggers have a lot to answer for. You don't need to know more than that. Alright, what do you think of Sebastian? He has it hard, Gaunt. But he's tough, and he's fair as he needs to be. Take care, boss. Didn't your mum teach you better? Then run into people? Apparently not. Apparently I can't use the workbench yet. If you hang around, it wouldn't hurt none. We need the numbers. There's a chemistry station. I was hoping for a weapon workbench, but this'll do. Alright, so let's step outside and start doing some side quests. Music, though, the incidental music is very nice. It's quieting down, though, and switching, so I think that's a sign that we're about to. Okay. So let's see. We've got Fine Tam Saving, we've got Fine Weather Delivery is late there. hardware store. Let's see, books are south of there. So it looks like everything is south of us. body I left over here earlier. Probably been long enough that it's gone bye-bye. Now well, we'll go ahead and save here. Cafe and lunch.
since we found the library. into a library full of ghouls at night. What could possibly go wrong? Textbook, overdue book, overdue book. Right wing requires a key. Okay, that door is chained so we can't go through it. Oh, I'm finding all manner of hardware, but not much in the way of Yeah, that looks suspicious. speculate on why there are two pair of handcuffs in the library basement. Book return terminal. Here you can return any overdue books you may have in your possession, as well as spend any book return tokens you've accured. For every book return, you will be reimbursed five book return tokens. You may then use these tokens to purchase prizes from the machine. Let's see, what can I get? Toy alien, toy rocket ship, toy car, hairbrush, new toy truck, and a pen. Woohoo, toy alien! I never 
critical worked up. Okay, need a key to get in there as well. Snuck attack the ghoul. For I am awesome. Still no luck finding a key. You don't seem to have any way of activating the robot. There's got to be some way in there. Well, it looks like there's no place to go but upstairs. Appliances. Hand still in the coffee cup. A librarian to the end. Computer that seems to be working. Let's see. Dear colleagues, I'm writing to inform you that our office at the Churchill Library remains one of the few remaining human occupied spaces in the facility. As you may be aware, the library recently undergone a major transformation. Most of the operation is now being handled by robots. Man, even my escapism, I have to worry about AI replacing me. Well, this change has led to increased efficiency and cost savings has also re resulted in a significant reduction in the number of human employees. I want to reassure you that our office remains fully operational and that we are committed to providing the highest levels of service to our clients. Free case evaluation.
Dear clients, please remember we're here to bring a little bit of legal order to the chaos of the above resource wars. We may not have a conventional courtroom anymore since it got bombed, but we've got enough legal jar to make the judge in the new courthouse's head spin. Let us know about your legal dilemmas, whether it's a dispute over who gets the last bottle of Nuka Cola or Ion Brew, or a disagreement about the ownership of a new band of a now banned book. We've got your back. Our legal team is ready to take on any case, no matter how trivial or absurd it may seem. So if you find yourself in need of legal advice or representation, don't hesitate to drop by our office. We're based in Bromley's Churchill Library, and we'll be there to help you navigate the legal wasteland. Remember, the only thing more dangerous than a drop bomb is a poorly written contract. Stay safe out there. Peter Golden. I'm going to let you know our legal research database has become juiced up with the freshest court rulings and legislations. This database is our secret sauce for staying in the loop with the latest in the legal world and diving deep in any legal rabbit hole you fancy. Please take some time to explore the database and familiarize yourself with its features. If you don't have any questions or need assistance, don't hesitate to reach out to me or another member of our team. Sincerely, Peter Golden. Case Management uh, right now, I need to update the case management system with any new developments in our cases. This is essential for tracking your deadlines. If I catch one more client's personal information thrown in the bin, there will be a full-fledged investigation, and the perpetrator will be removed. Feel free to hire us as solicitors, though. Please make sure to enter any new information as soon as possible. Reach out to me to remember the team. I don't think I like this guy. Legal writing. All right, remind the importance of clear and concise legal writing. If I catch anybody trying to screw over clients, you'll find yourself without a job. Our clients rely on us to communicate complex legal concepts in a way that is understandable and persuasive. Stop screwing them over. Please take a moment to review your writing and ensure it's clear, concise, and free of errors. And finally, legal ethics. Dear colleagues, I need to remind you of the importance of an ethical conduct in our legal practice. As solicitors, we have a duty to uphold the highest standards of professionalism and integrity. Stop chasing the money. I seem to have magically teleported behind the desk. And that door is inaccessible. Transfer a bit of my junk in here. Alright, well, we will go ahead and stop here for now, and next time we will continue on to the upper floors of the library. But thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you are so inclined. And we will continue the adventure from here next time. Take care until then.